Yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine, and welcome back to What Makes This Dancer Great. Today's dancer is going to be non-stop Marquis Scott. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the show, everybody. It's episode eight. I think I said it was episode eight on the last one, but this is episode eight. And I'm super excited to get into Marquis Scott, one of the most famous, one of the best dancers in the world. So let's get right into it. First video is called Cinema Dubstep 2018. And I'm not wasting no time. I don't have any backstory. I don't know Marquis Scott. I never met him before, but I am a fan of his dancing. And there you go. Ah, oh, cool. I know this song. I've never seen this video before. And he got two different pairs of J's on him. Looks good. That's Skrillex, so. Arguably the creator of dubstep dance. Well, not the creator, but it's his fault. <laughs> Something that I really love about Nonstop is his footwork and his vibe. He makes it look easy and like he's just in it. He's in it. When he's dancing, he is totally into it. And speed changes. There's this feeling of floating with whenever I watch him. He just looks like he's floating. I remember DJing this song back in the day. That vibrating going on. Nice. I really love this footwork. His toe spinning. I mean. Also infamous, infamously known for, uh, or I guess we could say famously known for starting on Dragon House, which is one of the most well-known crews, dance, street dance crews in the world. I love dancing with dubstep, half-time dancing. Is, I'm also a slow dancer, if you haven't seen it. And he's also kind of slow dance. I don't mean slow dancer, but like a dancer that takes his time a lot. Nice. And really makes the speed changes effective. It's a nice contrast. Nice little trace wave over the, over the head, behind the head. And then not looking at the camera works for Marquis. I always tell a lot of my dance, or my dancers, my dance students, not even students, all the guys on reactions and critiques, to look at the camera and, and acknowledge your, your audience. But I'm pretty sure Nonstop was one of the ones that really um, made doing that, made not looking at the camera kind of popular. And it's, he just has this cool vibe though. It's like he makes it really poetic and it just works with his style. He's not here to like entertain us. He's here to show us how passionate he is about his dancing, how into it, how clean his vibes are, song choice. He has dope style. I love the way he's. He's like he has a full. He's a full package. He's a great dancer. I wish there was a little bit more footwork in this video because I love his footwork. But it's nice to see him focus on a lot of a lot more upper body and tucks, which isn't something he really does too much. But as we can 
see here, he does a lot. And cool, he has a nice style. He flows in and out of his moves. <laughs> a little bit of acting going on. Uh, I mean, he's so smooth. I really like his style because, like I said, he's, it's not like he's trying too hard, he's just out there enjoying himself, dancing to the music, and he just happens to be killing it at the same time. He's not here to like prove anything to us, he's not here to show us like how cool he is. He's literally just has his headphones on, kicking ass on the street, which is actually really nice to watch for a change. And I think when he first came out, it was a real breath of fresh air for a lot of dancers. Instead of seeing everyone all mad and trying to be all hard, you see this guy just out there by himself with his headphones on, killing it for like five minutes straight or whatever it may be. Even in his pumped up kicks video that has 138 million views. He's kicking it, he's chilling, he's just listening, he's jamming to great music, and he's awesome at it. Nothing more to say than that. And so this was a video, that last video I just showed you guys was from 2018. Let's go check out something a little bit older just to switch it up and see what has changed over the years. So this one has 33 million views, it's the second highest viewed video. It's called Higher. It also says dubstep right after it. So I'm imagining it's going to be a dubstep song. But let's see what changes happened over the course of four or five years. Higher dubstep. We got the Beamer. And he also made the whole getting out of your car thing and dancing trend. He made it a trend. Made it famous. Hey. <laughs> Damn, I haven't seen this in a long time. And those are fresh shoes. You don't know what Osiris are. You don't, you, you're too young. <laughs> and it shows. Hey. Yeah, there's still that vibe of just like, I'm kicking it. This time, no headphones on, it's coming from the car. A sick car. And he, I'm pretty sure he was also somebody that made the whole gliding thing make a. He, gliding had a comeback, and we can blame nonstop. Is what I want to say. Gliding made a huge comeback. It was not really that cool to glide when I was growing up. And now it's like everyone has to add gliding and footwork, toe spinning into your style and popping to be relevant these days, it seems like. So, we can thank Nonstop for that one too. Damn, he's going in on this one. I haven't seen this in years. Oh, he, when he goes hard though, he goes hard. He's going in. Playing with the concept while he's over there stalled. Hey. This part, this little sequence is sick. I would say he's a little bit harder five years ago. The vibe of the last video is way more chill. The song was way more chill, but I just feel like there's a little bit more impact in his older videos, or at least in this video. Maybe he really likes this song. A little bit of lyrical storytelling. Yeah, dope. He's, he's really original popper. I mean, some people would argue he's not really a popper, but at the same time, there's so much popping technique going on. It's just a different style. It's from the, he's from the South. It's, there's different, different strokes for different folks. 
in LA, his, this style wasn't so popular back when I was living there. He definitely brought something new to the scene, and for the better, because it was boring ever watching everyone just do funk styles all the time. It's nice to watch some animating, waving, gliding. He brought gliding back. So that alone is like a huge deal. And he put dubstep on the map for dancers. And a lot of people don't like the term dubstep dance, and I didn't, and I used to hate that term, dubstep dance. At the end of the day, this guy and others, like Pop and John, who dance to dubstep music, like myself, the videos caught on with the name dubstep dance for one reason or another, and that's what the new generation grew up on. And they called themselves dubstep dancers. They weren't from the streets. They were literally kids in their rooms watching YouTube. And it was called dubstep dance on the title, and so that's what they called it when they mimicked it and did it in their mirrors and posted their videos. They called it dubstep dance. And even though poppers will argue it's a watered-down version of popping, it's a culture that grew through the internet that has roots in popping, but is actually It's something. You can't take that away from all these kids, this last generation. They call it dubstep dance, leave them alone. They didn't learn from poppers, they learned from YouTube. So there is a difference. So get over it. Anyways, this is an old argument, but since we're on the subject of Marquis Scott, thought I'd talk about it. Now, last video I'd like to show you guys is called Smooth Criminal Tribute, and it's one of my favorite videos by um, Nonstop. And it was one of the most well thought out most like high produced video that I've seen him do. And I actually give him mad respect for doing this because I'm also a Michael Jackson fan. But not only that, but he really put in a lot of work and invested a lot into this video. And I respect that. He got a group together and did a high level shoot that actually turned out really great in my opinion. And I hope you guys agree with me on this one. So let's see what, the, let's see what makes this dancer great. <laughs> So weighty, awesome video. If you guys haven't seen this, I'm glad to be showing it to you because it's sick. It's high production. Great production value. He's full out in costume. It probably cost him money out of his pocket to do this. And come on. There can't be enough Michael Jackson tributes in my opinion. And when it's a dope dancer tributing, I have no, there's nothing wrong with it. Still doing Marquis Scott. It's a tribute video. See? Totally has that Michael Jackson vibe, music video vibe with the... It specifically reminds me of the... That Justin Timberlake video where Michael Jackson comes in and like, they kill it in the bar. Oh shit, there's Chibi! I forgot about this part! I'm gonna definitely review him on a future episode. He's definitely been on the radar. That was a cool cameo actually. See, like when you're doing these high level productions, you have the option to cameo. That's a little non stop, right? I recognize you. I don't even know what the hell they said. <laughs> oh shit. I like the classy chicks in the background. Femme fatale. No correlation with the crew but like literally old school from Fatale style, it's awesome. Got this long cigarette and everything. No, I, I like the way Nonstop thinks. He's doing things his own way. He's not trying to be a popper, not trying to, he's not, he's not trying to prove anything, like I said in the last videos, but he's still dope and he's doing him. 
And I think that's super important, and that's why he's a character, and that's why everyone knows who he is. And he does battle too, have you guys, man, who, he battled Blueprint, which was a sick battle, really interesting battle. I'm not going to review it on here, but y'all should check that out, it's really cool. You see non-stop action, like, at, I would say at his best. Sure, there was pressure in the room right then. I like how he's always got the J's on. Alright, not always, but... You can do J's in a white suit. Hey! You think you fell right there? <laughs> that was a far lean. Sick. Man, his footwork is just on another level. He really makes it look easy. Reminds me, I have to do fiction soon. Who wants to see fiction? Let me know in the comments. Nice tugs, yo. No, I really like this video a lot. It's nice to watch some dancers, some street dancers do some high production stuff. Can't always be a concept video or a duo video where everyone's doing threads. Now I mean, respect, nonstop, dope stuff. Now, me and nonstop have some history. Not much history, but there was a moment in time where there was some drama on the internet. Right around the time I was on So You Think You Can Dance, my stuff blew up. I think it was on a World of Dance video, or I'm, I, I, don't, I don't even know which video it is, and there's too many videos on my channel to go through. There is some moment where nonstop, before his pumped up kicks video, before anyone knew who, about who he was, posted like a bunch of hate stuff on my videos back in the day. No joke. And we had like this big online like fight, I guess you could call it where he was like saying that I was whack and this and that and I don't even pop and this and that. I'm sure at the moment now he doesn't mean any of what he said back then. I'm sure he takes everything he said back and if he doesn't, it's all good. I don't really care if he doesn't like my style. But at the end of the day, I told him, because I didn't know who he was. I, it was just literally some guy that was YouTube commenting on one of my videos and hating on me. So I was like, all right, so come to LA and come battle me, I'm down. And how cool would have that, how cool would that have been if he came down to LA and battled me and then he would have blown up afterwards and everyone knew who he was from Pumped Up Kicks. And then we would have had this battle, kind of like the Mr. Wizard battle before that. But anyways, I didn't know who this kid was and he called me out when he was really young. And like I said before, I, I knew he doesn't, he doesn't mean any harm by it, I don't care. I really respect him as a dancer and what he's done for the new generation of poppers. And um, all that stuff I can squash without even needing to ever meet him or talk to him because it was kind of, we were both probably a little bit egotistical back then, a little bit more arrogant than we are now. We're much older, much more mature than we used to be, at least on my end. And uh, yeah, no hard feelings, Marquise. I hope we get to meet and do a video one day. But if you really don't like my style and you still feel the same way, I'm totally open to a battle, bro. So that's it for today. If you guys are feeling this video, if you found it entertaining, if you found it helpful in any way, informational, I don't know, leave me some comments, some feedback in the, in the comments. And uh, like this video, please, because that pumps the video into the algorithm and shows more people my stuff. And if you think these videos need more views, then please help me out. Subscribe, like my video, comment, feed the algorithm what it needs to get my stuff out there because I guess that's the point now is to just make this channel grow because I already have my, my series going on. So thanks for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Like I said in the last video, I'm gonna monetize finally soon. There's already been 200,000 watch minutes this year alone. And that's incredible to me. That wasn't, that's insane. That's like a lot of minutes you guys are watching. So I appreciate you guys spending some time here on my channel. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace out.